By the way, what kind of motor is it? This is a drive motor. That is already been produced in small batches of size 100 motors. They are now being shipped to the consumer. They are designed for different voltage levels. At the peak, this motor gives a maximum of 14 kilowatts. The nominal value is 3.94.2 kilowatts. It operates in long-term C1 mode. The requirements for IP65 class are complied with. Have a look, there is a shaft over there and there is a sealer color. The thermal box is enlarged. This thermal box contains all the signal and power conductors. The outputs are made through the input cable and seals and so on. What is the beauty of this motor? And the beauty is in fact that it's made on the basis of mass-produced parts. Almost everything here is mass-produced. So this motor is easy to launch in production with minimum production costs. Look at it, look at it closely. You said that you hadn't seen a motor with Slavyanka. Please look at it closely. Look at it closely. For those fellows in particular, we are demonstrating this motor. Look at it and admire. These motors will now undergo certification according to the Eurasian Economic Union standards and then according to the European standards, not to mention the Russian standard. These motors have already been properly tested by us, tested not only in the laboratory but also in the running trials. Similar motors were used on Kalina, electric Kalina, and other vehicles. Those motors looked like they had been made in a garage using the simplest technologies. And the main thing was to make them and test the operating principle. To test how they work, how well they work. Now this fundamental truth doesn't need to be proved. Because it has already been confirmed, proved. So these motors are manufactured by us as both left-hand rotation mainly and right-hand rotation mainly. This is the only difference and there are two rotation directions. It is connected with the fans. The fan design that allows you to get more airflow and better cooling. They are also available without a fan for a natural cooling and for forced ventilation. So we make different modifications based on this basic model. The standard model that you can see here. In the near future, a form for ordering the motors will appear on the website. It is currently being developed. We just don't have enough time to do everything at once. We don't have enough hands for everything. Nevertheless, the website will be completed, the necessary changes will be made, and the motors will be available for ordering. But you need to understand that we can produce a very large number of motors right now. However, we will manufacture them in small batches. These motors will be available for the investors too. But I don't think there are a lot of investors who like making their own vehicles only for resale. But who would they resell the vehicles to? Amateurs. Amateurs will find us anyway and buy from us. Resale is unlikely to be interesting for businesses too, so those who want to make money on resale, wait a little please. Until we give you a form for filling an order for the general purpose industrial motor. We have them too, but we didn't put them on display here, because otherwise we will be able to see only Alexander's head above the terminal boxes. So, dear colleagues, Everything is ready to be shipped. The shipping will begin on Monday. Still, there are some concerns in the chat. People want us to show the motor nameplate. But here, dear colleagues, there is one detail. The fact that this is a drive motor. Just imagine, all of you drive cars. 
and imagine you have a nameplate on the internal combustion engine. How much time will it last there? A very short time. More precisely, if this occurs, it usually ends quickly. Yes, because it is washed off with carter cleaners and so on, especially here. So, there is a VIN number under the terminal box here. Which side is it on? We need to turn it out. Here under the terminal box. Right in this place on the back side there is a VIN number. This VIN number. The logo and the name of Solid Mosh Company can be used to identify this motor. Because its details are entered in the database. And it will then be possible to view all of its performance characteristics on the website. Besides, the kit this motor is delivered with includes the certificate in which everything is recorded, all its performance characteristics and parameters. And the kit also includes an operating manual. Besides, for the user convenience, we provide terminal cable tips for putting on in the kit. The multi-core wires are used for the conductors and in order to mount, press and connect them to the motor. There are some special tips that I used. First, the cable is stripped. The cable tip is put on and then it is inserted and pressed right here in the terminal box. Of course, we have performed this operation repeatedly. Use the thermal imager for tracking the temperature because we were afraid that the junction would heat up. But it turned out that the junction temperature was lower than the temperature on the conductors in the output from the motor. Therefore, we must admit everything works well. So, all of this has been checked. Therefore, for mounting the motor, no additional things or tools other than the standard common ones hex keys, screwdrivers, a cable stripping knife are required. We try to make it as convenient as possible for installation and reliable as well, so there is no need for any bolts or anything. Everything is very simple. We try to take care of the consumer. In fact, in the modern world, people often do not care much about this. More about the exterior, marketing, maybe even some performance features, but not about user convenience. The most interesting thing is that if any of the parts goes out of order, you can buy it in any store in any city. I mean, in fact, it is fully available. Yes, it is repairable, available, and easy to operate. 